Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Sideshow Collectibles Plo Koon 1-6 scale figure. This guy is really cool, uh, but before we take a closer look at him, let's go ahead and take a look at his packaging. And uh, like always with these larger scale figures, uh, just bear with me. Um, you know, they are harder to set up, so it takes longer. Um, but anyway, here on the front, it's got a picture um, uh, of the figure itself. And it's wearing the cloak, and I'll kind of uh, just kind of remember how he looks here. I'll talk a little bit more about what I think on the cloak in a minute. Down here on the bottom, it's got a Sideshow exclusive sticker. On the side, another picture of the cloak. Uh, again, just remember, you know, how much of the figure it covers up here, and I'll talk about it later. On the back of the packaging, it's got another picture of the figure without the cloak. And then some pictures of Plo Koon from the movie, as well as some of the other figures that were available uh, at the same time. And then another uh, picture of Plo Koon uh, in his cloak here. So if you open up the side, which is held closed by magnets, uh, you'll see a ton of description on this character. If you'd like to uh, read that. You can just pause the video. Let me see if I can get that closer so you can actually read it. Uh, maybe not. Here we go. Hopefully you guys can read that if you'd like to. And the same with this description here. Hopefully you can read that. Uh, but anyway, enough of the packaging here. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, the figure itself. So, Plo Koon here stands, let's see, looks like if he were standing straight up he'd be just a little bit over 12 inches tall, which I believe is accurate. Uh, and let's go ahead and talk about his accessories as well here. Uh, the first one, and the one he's holding, uh, is his lightsaber. And this is not the hand that comes on him in the packaging, this is his gripping hand. And on this side, for whatever reason, this is the only uh, Sideshow figure I have that has done this, they sculpted the fingers together, so he can't hold his lightsaber properly uh, with this hand. Uh, and it's only on that side, because the other gripping hand for this figure uh, has the fingers that aren't sculpted together, so I don't know uh, why they did that. Uh, it's not a huge deal, but just something I noticed. He also comes with two open hands. These are the ones that come on him in the packaging. And uh, while well, we've got a close look at them, uh, just a really amazing detail on these guys, especially for an older figure. He also comes with an unignited lightsaber hilt, which has a pretty bad seam line, but it's not a huge deal. Um, the paintwork is pretty good. He also comes with an unignited, uh, I'm going to call this a lightsaber gauntlet. And he's got the ignited version of that. So if you want to use this accessory, what you do is you uh, pop the hand off and slip it on over his wrist. Um, I have seen uh, other action figures uh, of Plo Koon uh, with this accessory before, but I've never seen them in green. Um, so I'm not sure if that's accurate to some... A comic book or maybe the original Clone Wars TV show, the uh, cartoon uh, one, but uh, I'm not sure about that. It's not a huge deal either way. Uh, he also comes with his communicator, and this is the first one of these I've ever seen that didn't come with any sticky stuff on the back, so basically just leave this in the package or you'll lose it instantly. He also comes with a communicator here, Really nice accessory. And finally, uh, he comes with his cloak. Um, it's not the standard cloak that we get um, with these um, Jedi figure uh, figures. They, they did make a new one. Uh, and in my opinion, uh, it's, it's accurate, obviously, but uh, in my opinion, it covers up way too much of the figure. Uh, they did a really amazing job with his uh, tunic and everything, and I don't think you should cover it up uh, with this. So I personally will never use this accessory. I am, however, glad that they did include it. Um, it does look nice. It's got a huge hood on it. 
Uh, but anyway, like I said, I think it just covers up way too much of the figure, in my opinion, uh, even though it's accurate. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and talk about the figure's articulation. Now this guy is an older sideshow figure, and they are kind of known for having um, kind of loose shoulder joints. Uh, they don't always want to stay up. Um, and with the kind of heavier clothing, um, you know, that doesn't help that. So just be aware that he's got uh, kind of loose shoulders, but it's not a huge deal. Uh, as far as head articulation, it's on a ball peg. So you get some pretty good range of motion, especially looking up. Uh, not so much down. Um, it It's not blocked by the uh, sculpt work. It's more by the um, actual joint itself. He's got... Let's see, butterfly hinges in the shoulder, ball hinge shoulders on top of that, with a bicep swivel. He's got, I believe they're single jointed elbows, it's really hard to see uh, up his sleeve to uh, see them, but they feel, actually they feel like maybe they're a double jointed. Either way, you're not going to get a whole lot of range of motion out of them just because of the um, you know, the clothing itself, but that's not really their fault. It's just uh, kind of what happens with uh, action figures of this scale. He's got a hinge in the wrist with a ball peg. Um, so he's got a great range of motion there, basically as good as you can get. He's got a diaphragm joint, uh, which lets him lean back, forward, uh, and rotate side to side. He does have uh, T-jointed hips with a really, really great range of motion, thigh swivel, and double jointed knees. And down in the ankle, it's you're basically just gonna get a swivel. Even if there was articulation down there uh, in the foot, you're not gonna get it just because the boots are so hard. Um, but uh, overall, uh, this figure uh, is pretty well done, especially for its age. Um, however, it's not of a character that, you know, is super uh, popular uh, overall. Uh, so if you're just starting out collecting these sideshow figures, this guy's probably a pass. Not because he's a bad figure, just be just because he's not, uh, you know, a main character. Um, oh, I do. I almost forgot. He does come with a Star Wars base as well, and it doesn't have a U-stand. Uh, it's got the other kind, the one that goes around his waist. Um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, but anyway, uh, like I was saying, uh, you know, good figure. You know, the only limitation uh, is the popularity of the character or how important uh, he is to you. Uh, but if you have any comments or questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. And I guess I'll see you later.